Okay, I'm pretty excited for this one. I've created a way to run OpenAI fine-tuned jobs from a user interface. And this interface um, is built with a Django API on the back end, as well as a React front end. And I'm close, it's working, and there's a few more things that I want to do, and then I'm going to open source this. So if you are interested in having this software, you can uh, you can follow me and then when it's open source, I'll make sure everybody knows. So the first thing you do, just give it a name and I'm gonna use the example from OpenAI's website. So I'm just gonna call this Marv and specify the model, so uh, 3.5 turbo and the training data set. This actually is just copy and pasted from the um, OpenAI website. So once you do that, click the create fine tune job and it's going to go out and start everything. I'm going to add a loading spinner so that we know everything's working. And if it does, we should get a response back. So this did a couple things. It first had to create an open AI file and then it uploaded that. So here's our file ID. And then it created a open AI job ID. And this is the job. And Eventually, it'll create a fine-tuned model and we'll have this ID and that will be important because we'll need to reference that when we uh, have the chat window here to test everything out. Um, and then we have the status. So this does take some time on OpenAI side and so you can just click this button and it'll check it. And so I'm going to pause this for now and come back when everything's ready and then we can test things out with the chat here. Okay, great. So it's running now. So I, I click check job status and it's succeeded. And then our fine tuned model is showing now our the ideas. And now we can go over here and ask some questions. Um, the easiest way to test this, I'm just going to ask what uh, the capital of France is because this was in our training set. And I think it's a good way to tell if the model worked or not. I'm going to click submit and wait a second because this is not streaming enabled. Okay, so it did reply with the same response that we have in our training set. So we know that this is being Marv at our, uh, how do they put it, our factual yet sarcastic chatbot. And that's how it goes. So again, this will be open source soon. Follow me or let me know if you want to... Uh, to get a copy of this and I'll be sure to let you know when it's ready. Thanks.